Hello guys, welcome back to my channel DP Design. As you can see in the screen, we are going to teach you how to draw a part from a CSWA examination. Okay, so I have one sample paper from uh, CSWA from SolidWorks. So here is a problem and this is the question and you have to solve this question. And it is asking what is the overall mass of the part by giving all this information and inputs, right? So we have to uh, do part modeling uh, from this drawing and then we have to give the answer where, which is the correct answer, okay? So all the information is there, you have to follow that as I have uh, taken the screenshot from that and I'm going to draw the part over here. I'm not using uh, my superpowers to draw this part. Uh, I'm drawing this as I am uh, assuming I'm the beginner, okay? So as you can see, uh, this part, to start this part, I am using one uh, basic command which is a rectangle, okay? So it will give me the boundaries of this part, okay, which is required. Now as you can see, there is a A, B and C also there in the actual command. So what are those? How to give uh, the equations, right? For that also, I am using this uh, CSWA paper so that you can understand better. So for this uh, rectangle, I'm going to give the uh, construction because it is not going to be in my sketch, but to set the boundaries only, right? So this is your A, this is your B. Let's say uh, this is my A. And I, if you want to create a global variable, if, uh, if you want to create the equation, what you should do, whenever you are giving the dimension, just put the equal and whatever you want to write, Okay, as a nomenclature or the notation, you can just write that. Okay, let's say I'm going to uh, insert the A and I will click on the earth. Okay, this earth means global variable. Now you can give the dimension which, which will uh, directly connect it to the A, A, okay, notation. So let's say my A is uh, 81 right now. Okay, done. Okay, 81 done. Then my B is 57 give the equal, give the B and set OK, create a new global variable, OK, and 57, done. Now, I'm going to start from this portion, OK, this line, I'm going to start. So what you can do, you can just uh, uh, wait, this image is uh, very far, so it will be better if it's visible very easily. Okay, I'm going to give some... Uh, okay, this is not needed right now. Ah, this is cool. Now I'm going to start uh, this line. Uh, one line I have to draw something like this. I'm going upper side. I'm creating only boundaries, okay. Okay, it is not connected to the upper side as you can see. This is a far away. Okay, so this common mistake some guys are doing. So I want to highlight that. Please avoid that. Okay. And yeah, you are good to go. It is a 10. And okay, this is the tangent shortcut. Okay, whenever you are, you are pointing to the point, line and point, it will create automatically a tangent arc. Okay. And yes, these are some basic techniques uh, when you will become expert, you will get to know. Okay. Now, okay, I'm already done now. This arc, I don't have to draw right now. Uh, one uh, moon is there in between. Okay. Now give the dimension like 19 is there first. 19, okay. 45 degree chamfer, you can give the chamfer, but for your information, I'm doing by sketch only, okay? 7, this hole is a 14 mm, this hole having dimension of 14 mm, also this also 14 mm, done. Now this chamfer is also 7 mm and 45, okay. 
no 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 sorry 45 degree what is the total distance 32 this and this 32 okay i'm done this and this having a degree of 10 degree this having the dimension of uh, r19 29 okay this is a 45 okay 5 I have to give why this is not fully defined why because you are not giving the distance of uh, this arc okay which is a uh, 14 mm yeah good to go now as you can see we set up okay this one this dimension is also remaining which is 24 now there is not an angle over this uh, side so what you can do you can just give the, the distance which is given already and you can pull it out here now as you can see the arc which is drawn over here the center point is on the line and it is having distance from uh, bottom 19 okay so you have to use the center point arc give the center as a reference and draw a line a very good line okay and uh, okay good now this point this point having the dimension of 19 mm okay what is the radius 29 mm radius okay this is directly connected to this trim this trim this trim this trim this okay i think we are done almost anything remains no the sketch is fully defined now as you can see fillet is there which is a 5 mm of fillet okay reconfirm all the dimensions before extrude okay so you can just go to extrude and yeah oh sorry revolve it was so always do it from a mid plane what is the dimension 43 mm but i am going to give the as a global variable which is a c okay so c and global variable 43 mm ah good to go now what is the material ai si1020 steel which is having the density of uh, okay 0 0.0079 gram per mm cube go to the material as you can see and uh, in equation you can change any dimension from it so it will be easier okay aisi1020 i applied the material the color is changed and go to the mass properties as you can see mass properties uh, 939.54 939.54 okay you can see the answer third question is there in the answer menu where is the answers okay 939.54 so this is how you can do and also there are some modification in that in next question you have to follow the same that's why the equations are there if you don't know the equation it will be very hard to answer the next question let's say they are asking 84 59 and uh, 44 what will be the overall mark so you can just go to the equation and directly change that okay and you will get your answer otherwise you have to go into the sketch change anything and if something uh, over defined comes then you have to solve that also so for that you have to learn this equation uh, thing that's why i made a video okay and also it is a cswa practice so it will be uh, easy so you can just search on the internet cswa sample paper so you can get this paper and solve and whatever doubts you are having just uh, ping me and I will help you to uh, solve your doubt okay and yeah keep sharing keep learning thank you so much for the watching this video okay bye